Okay friends, with the engine flipped upside down on your engine stand, the first thing we need to install is the wingage tray. It has four screws that hold it on. Okay, friends, next is the oil pump pickup tube, okay? Go ahead and make sure you got your brand new O-ring on here. Dab a little bit of oil around your uh, O-ring and go ahead and install it. With the oil pump pickup installed, go ahead and run up your bolts to hold that in place. With the wingage tray in place and the oil pump pickup, go ahead and torque all your bolts to the specified torque setting. Next, flip your engine over and we want to go ahead and install the um, oil dipstick tube. Um, I've already actually got it started. And what you want to do is get it started. It's actually a press fit. Find your wrench that fits around the end of it. Hold your leg up against it kind of in place. And with a long drift, just go ahead and tap it on in place. All right, that felt like it got there. All right, friends, flip the engine back upside down. Double check in the bore where the um, dipstick tube goes. Make sure there's no debris. Make sure there's no debris inside the uh, bore from driving the tube in. All right, with the engine flip back upside down, we're ready for the oil pan. First of all, take your RTV, put it in each corner on the front and on the back where it goes up around the crankshaft. Just dab you a small amount of RTV there. And with your oil pan, pan gasket already glued to your oil pan with a quality RTV or weather stripping adhesive, go ahead and install. With all your oil pan bolts started by hand, after that, go ahead and take your cordless impact and zip everything down in a pattern that starts in the center and works back and forth. Finally, friends, after you've got all the bolts run down, go ahead and take your torque wrench and using that same pattern of starting in the center and working out, go ahead and torque all your bolts.